Welcome to Five Minutes Ago, a show we wrote, well, five minutes ago. To infinity and beyond. With our hosts, Molly Plunkett, Alec Karagosian, Jess Gurung, and Asa Rosemeyer. With this week's guest host, Nathan Moore. Fasten your seatbelts. Hey everyone, welcome to Five Minutes Ago. And a special welcome to our guest host this week, freshman Nate DeMora. I'm excited to be the first freshman guest host representing the class of 2026. So Nate, how has the freshman experience been treating you? Pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Pretty excited about the new building, even though I literally got lost yesterday. Yeah, I love the new building as well. I haven't seen any asbestos, so that's a good sign. And now for this week's announcements. Congratulations to our Marauders of the Week, Claire Lodiak, Nick Mazzoni, and Miriam Woods. For the pep rally relay, use the QR code to show your interest in playing for your class in the class competition at the fall pep rally. Sign up by November 15th. The student ambassadors have two meetings this week. The first meeting is Tuesday, November 15th at 2.30 in the Commons. The next meeting is Wednesday evening, November 16th at 7 at the fire station on Chapello Road. Snacks will be served and special thank you treats will be given to all who attend. Get ready for a week of school spirit leading up to the pep rally and the Thanksgiving break. Monday the 21st will be an International Spirit Day where you can represent any country of your choosing. Tuesday the 22nd, wear your Belmont gear. And Wednesday the 23rd is Color Wars Day where you wear your class color. Just a reminder that we have a half day of school on November 23rd and no school on November 24th and the 25th. And now for a sports announcement. Congratulations to BHS Cheerleading, who came in second place at their competition on the 6th. They recorded one of their highest scores in program history and qualified for regionals in Billerica. Senior captains Shoshana Perlova and Angelica Jovalis have kept up team chemistry by arranging theme practices with costumes and spirit days. A special shout out to freshmen Eliza Cote and Alicia Yi, who were outstanding in their first year as part of the Cheer family. Great work, BHS Cheer. Also, another reminder that BHS football will be playing Watertown at Fenway Park on November 23rd at 4 p.m. If you buy tickets for this game, you also can watch all the other high school football games that day. Make sure to check the description for the ticket link. And for the most up-to-date tournament schedule for our fall teams, check out the MIAA website. And now for our arts announcements. Just a reminder that the BHS Visual Art Department would like to share their new Google site. The website includes announcements, photos, and recent work from our amazing student artists. The link to the website can be found in the description. The PAC Fall Play is this weekend on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m., plus a performance on Friday right after school for students and staff. The play is Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost, and the PAC production is set in the present day. The characters are all high school students, and the show features slapstick comedy, tons of pop music, and a cameo from the Five Minutes Ago team. Tickets are $5 for all students and staff and can be purchased online at the cafeteria during lunch mods or at the door. And now we are super excited to bring you a brand new segment from our special correspondent, Weldon Smith. Weldon is here, Weldon is there, Weldon discovers everywhere. Did you know? There's a liquid oasis only steps from the demanding realities of your modern school day? Where the adventures you may find there are almost as powerful as the overwhelming scent of chlorine in its air. The newly renovated Belmont High School pool is a magical place where swimmers come to compete, recreate, and of course, make a splash. Boasting fresh tile work, improved showers, better viewing for spectators. The updated facilities are nothing other than state of the art. I got a chance to speak with our swim team captains about their upgraded experience. Well, we really like that we have these great marauder flags that our coach hand sewed for us. We have awesome new bleachers so people can actually come watch our home meets. I asked my new amphibious friends to teach me some of the skills required to become a master of the tide. Whoa, it's like the crowd's disappearing! Well, there is the D-bag. 
I discovered many things that day. Like, the mermaids must not come out when they know you're watching. But mostly, it's good to have friends that help you stay afloat when you need them most. Well, Walden, you really made a splash with that segment. Can't wait to see what you discover next. And Molly and Asa, are you two singing that jingle? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> we would never sing publicly. Mm, I don't know. That sounds a lot like you two to me. Anyway, last week, we asked you if you prefer in-ear or over-ear headphones, and we got some great responses. Here are the top three. At number three, because of in-ear headphones, I feel like an Avenger with an earpiece on a mission. At number two, the in-ear headphones follow easier, and if you have over-ear ones, people won't talk to you as much. And at number one, we have being able to drown out the sound of my responsibilities with the noise cancellation AirPods beats any over-ear headphones. And the winner was in-ear headphones with 68.6% .6 of the votes. After the pep rally planners poured over hundreds of submissions, we have the 10 BHS Pump Up Jam semifinalists. The two songs which received the highest percentages of votes will face off in a head-to-head -head vote, and the winner will be announced and played at the pep rally. The choices are Dancing Queen by ABBA, Fire Burning by Sean Kingston, Hooked on a Feeling by Blue Suede and Bjorn Skiffs, Mr. Brightside by The Killers, Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley, of course, Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus, Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO, Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes, Thunderstruck by ACDC, and Timber by Pitbull and Kesha. Make sure to scan the QR code to get your voice heard. What do you think, Nate? 100% Thunderstruck by ACDC. Although I love that song, I'm a big party in the USA type of girl. Anyways, it's been great having you here, Nate. Thank you for having me. I've had a great time. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.